Hi, this is Behnam Asim Khan from vbigbang.com. In the last video, I talk about hypervisor. In this video, I want to answer this question: What is vSphere? I invite you to subscribe to my channel vbigbang and please push the bell to be informed of my new videos releasing. What is vSphere? VMware vSphere is the name of VMware Server Virtualization product. It's firmly known as VMware Infrastructure and it consists of ESXi, a Type 1 hypervisor, a vCenter server, and a few other important features to ensure virtual servers or virtual machines are up and running. VMware vSphere is the next generation infrastructure for next generation application. It provides a powerful, flexible, and secure foundation for business agility. Supports both existing and next generation apps through its simplified customer experience for automation and management at scale. Comprehensive built-in security for protecting data infrastructure and access it's a universal application platform for running any app anywhere and delivered the unified cloud to the customers it is one of the core component of VMware software defined data center and as a fundamental building block for VMware's cloud strategy capabilities of vSphere it simplifies customer experience. It has simple architecture. It has modern APIs that you can connect to them and use them. And it has a very modern interface with HTML5 technologies. It has comprehensive built-in security include data security, infrastructure security, and access security. Universal app. You can run any application anywhere on the core component of VMware vSphere technologies. Proactive data center management. vSphere provides some um, features include DRS, HA, and operation management protect your data center infrastructure. Benefits of vSphere It simplified customer experience, it has comprehensive built-in security, and it's a universal app platform. vSphere is an ideal platform for applications, cloud, and businesses. vSphere is a fundamental building block for the VMware Cloud strategy. VMware vSphere is available in both the private cloud and as a service through the public cloud. It provides a common standard-based platform. You can run, manage, connect and secure your applications in a common operating environment across clouds and devices. VSphere architecture has four major components. The first one is vCenter Server. vCenter Server provides a single point of control for your vSphere data center and it provides essential data center service such as access control, performance monitoring and configuration. The second component is infrastructure services. It abstracts, aggregates, and allocates all your resources and it categorizes them into compute, storage, and network resources. The third component is application services. Application services ensures availability, security, and scalability of your applications. For example, high availability and remotion are two main application services. And last component is clients. 
It allows users to communicate with vSphere data center. Let's look at vSphere architecture in depth. It has three main components. vSphere virtualization layer, management layer, and interface layer. In vSphere virtualization layer, we have infrastructure services layer and application services. Infrastructure services contains compute, storage, and network resources, and they have some main duties to run your vSphere on your data center. In the application services, we have some services that provide availability. For example, high availability and fault tolerance and vMotion and storage vMotion and DRS. In the management layer, we have two components, we center server and we realize operations. They provide some monitoring, configuration, and troubleshooting operations for us. In the interface layer, we have vSphere Web Client. It's a centralized management interface for your whole VMware vSphere infrastructure. VMware vSphere 6.5 architecture can support up to 64 hosts, it supports up to 8000 VMs, it supports up to 120 vCPUs, and it can support 6 TB of RAM. Topology of vSphere data center has 5 components. Compute component. In vSphere 6.5, clusters can scale up to as many as 64 hosts and support 8000 virtual machines in a single cluster. There is also expanded support for the latest x86 chipsets, devices, drivers, and guest operating systems. vSphere 6.5 can support specialized hardware such as GPUs or NVMe devices. Storage component Fiber Channel Storage Area Network FCSAN Internet Small Computer System Interface ISCASI Network Attached Storage NAS Arrays and vSAN 6.5 are widely used storage technologies supported by vSphere 6.5 to meet different data center storage needs. Storage policy based management allows common management across storage tires and dynamic storage classes of service automation. Together, they enable exact combination of data services to be instantiated more efficiently on a per virtual machine basis. Networking component. A virtual network provides several services to the host and virtual machines. vSphere 6.5 allows you to create and manage virtualized network services which are more efficient and easier to manage. You can create virtualized networks between machines or physical networks. You can also connect VM kernel services such as NFS, ISCSI or Vmotion to the physical network. Availability With vSphere 6.5, you can provide higher availability independent of hardware, operating system, and applications. You can also reduce plan downtime for common maintenance operation or provide automatic recovery in case of failures. vSphere makes it possible to reduce planning downtime, prevent unplanned downtime, and recovery rapidly from outages using technologies such as vSphere HA, vSphere fault tolerance, and vSphere replication. 
management component. vSphere 6.5 provides several interfaces for data center and management access. You can create and configure your virtual environment. You can also monitor your virtual environment and locate the source of potential issues and current problems. vSphere 6.5 introduced new REST-based APIs that vastly improve both the user and partner experience by enabling finer control of virtual infrastructure for apps. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Follow me at VBankBank channel. I appreciate any feedbacks and I'll answer all the questions you ask under these videos.